Hi students, today we are going to study how to measure large distances. For example, the distance of the moon from the surface of the earth or the distance of the nearest planet such as Mars from the earth or the distance of a far off tree or the height of the tree like that we can find the measurement of very large distances also. Now actually we have studied in the earlier class that there are three methods to determine the large distances. First one is the triangulation method, second one is the parallax method and the third one is the radar pulse method. Now we are going to explain the first method that is triangulation method. It is of course based on the trigonometry only. Sin theta, cos theta and tan theta we have studied. So, based on that, we are going to find the height of a tree. Now, let us consider this is a tree whose height is h. So, the tree is represented by the vertical line AB whose height is h. Now, the point of observation is C. So, from the point C, we are observing the top of the tree. Okay, the tip of the tree at A. Now, the road building engineers and all will use an instrument which is called as sextant or range finder. It is called as range finder. So while laying the roads in hills and all, they will find the elevation of the upper side of the road with respect to the lower side. So to measure that angle, they use an instrument called as range finder. So using that instrument placed at C, that is keeping a range finder at the point C, we can measure the angle subtended by the tip A of the tree at the point C. So this angle of elevation, no, this is taken to be theta. And let us take that uh, the distance of observation C is at a distance of X uh, from the bottom of the tree namely B. So the distance BC is equal to X uh, and the height uh, AB is equal to h and the angle subtended by the tip of the tree a with the point of observation c is a theta okay so from this we want to find the height of the tree okay or the distance of the tree any anything can be found since here we are finding the large distances first we will measure okay x so from this triangle a b c okay in a triangle a, B, C, tan theta is equal to tan theta. So in trigonometry, tangent value of this angle theta is equal to what opposite side by adjacent side. Okay, so this is a opposite side by adjacent side. So the side opposite to the angle theta, which side is opposite to angle theta? It is a A, B. So, this is now equal to the side AB divided by the adjacent side. Side adjacent to theta is BC. So, this is BC. And also, this is now equal to what tan theta is equal to. AB is equal to the height of the tree H. Okay. So, this is H divided by the adjacent side BC is equal to what X. Okay. Suppose if you want to find the distance x means then x is equal to h divided by tan theta. Or suppose if you want to find the height of the tree means what is h equal to therefore therefore the height h is equal to what x into tan theta. Or x if you want to measure x means x is equal to what h divided by tan theta. Okay. So from this anything can be found. Normally in this case, in this case, theta can be measured by a range finder and x can be measured, okay, along the surface of the road. So that h can be determined by using h is equal to x tan theta, okay. In this discussion, we, are, we can find the height of the tree like this. Now based on this, one example is given in our textbook, okay. So numerical is given. So for that, from a point on the ground, such as C, the top of a tree is seen to have an angle of elevation theta is equal to 60 degree. Then the distance between the tree and the point is 50 
meter. So this distance x is given as 50 meter. Calculate the height of the tree. So using this uh, formula, we are going to determine the height of the tree. So what are the given informations? First, uh, theta is equal to 60 degree and uh, the distance x is equal to how much? Uh, 50 meter. So we have to determine the height of the tree. So from this formula, h is equal to x into tan theta, x into tan theta. So that this is equal to 50 into tan of 60 degree, okay, tan 60. So that this is equal to 50 multiplied by tan 60, tan 60 is root 3, okay, root 3. So that this is equal to 50 into square root of 3 is 1.732. Okay, 1.732. Suppose if you multiply this uh, 50 with 1.732 means uh, what will be the answer? Let us see using a calculator. So 50 multiplied 50 into 1.732. So it is uh, 86.6. So this is equal to 86.6 meter. Therefore the height of the tree is equal to 86.6 meter. So these are all... Uh, Usually asked as uh, MCQs only, multiple choice question, very rarely two marks questions will come from this. Uh, have you all understood? Okay, fine.